Okay, so what they do here is give us a radical expression, which just means it has a root in it. The quick answer to this is that every single time you get one of these, this number here is just going to stay right there, and whatever number is under the square root is just going to go into these other two boxes. So that's the quick answer. If you want to know how it actually works, you would have just taken what they started you with. To rationalize an equation, we don't want square roots in the bottom, so we take whatever square roots in the bottom, we multiply it on top and bottom as a single fraction here, and when I multiply the top with the top, 11 times the square root of 3 gives me 11 square root of 3. And then on the bottom, when I multiply square root of 3 by the square root of 3, that's really the same as the square root of 3 squared, and squares and square roots cancel each other out, and so the bottom of the fraction would have just been a 3.